All right, welcome back. Time now for a special edition of News from the Left, all about the day's big story. Tonight, a look at the reaction to the big news. For some, abortion being sent back to the states, not illegalized by any stretch of the imagination, just sent back to the states, comes with tears. It's news that comes with tears. Former federal prosecutor Jennifer Rogers on CNN tearing up today. Listen, it's a heartbreaking betrayal of, of half of the country. Sorry, I'm getting, you know, watching the women there. It's emotional. Um, it's a real problem. Mm, you're going to see a lot of that, I imagine. Congresswoman Jackie Spire of California had been in this game a little bit too long to make comments as dumb as this, calling for violence effectively. Take a listen. There is a war out there, and we need to recognize that we've got to armor up. Got to arm up. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's funny when the other side says that. They get so mad. AOC got pretty mad, but remembered to frame her argument with wokeness in mind, of course. What the Supreme Court just did was that they chose to endanger the lives of all women and all birthing people in this country. Um, but not only that, they've chosen to strip rights from men, too. Pregnant people and birthing people. Got to be careful with them. AOC's buddy Ilhan Omar tweeted out, as we fight to make abortion legal at the federal level, I continue to reject the legitimacy of such an undemocratic institution. Expand the court, she said. Undemocratic institution. It is pure comedy. And the decision makes abortion purely democratic. It sends it back to be voted on by the people. It is literally the most democratic thing they could have done. They took a decision that was made by, I think, seven men 50 years ago, and they said, we're going to let the whole frickin' country make the decision. And they're screaming about it, how it's undemocratic. So it just gives you, you know, an indication of how they really think. They only care about winning. They only care about their agenda. That's it. Nothing else matters. Also interesting that for Omar, Ilhan Omar, who wears a religious headscarf to curb the sexual appetites of men, uh, it's funny that she's so radically liberal about abortion. I'm curious what her church would think about her stance on abortion. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, she still wears a headscarf. Here's a couple more squad members with some brilliant responses. This far-right racist, uh, 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 sexist Supreme Court that made this decision based upon politics. This is a matter of life and death for our LGBTQ siblings, for the disabled, for low-income women, for women of color, for black women. And black birthing people. Libs of TikTok obtained this video of a pro-abortion woman calling, openly calling for violence. Take a listen to this. So I'm just convinced we need to burn it all down because at this point, I don't know what else we're supposed to do. I'm advocating for violence. I am advocating for violence. Now, do you think Merrick Garland's going to show up? I doubt they're too concerned with that one. Because as we know, violence is okay on that side of the aisle. Over and over again we go. Over at CNN, the most annoying woman on television, Anna Navarro, gave a long, drawn-out explanation of how she has multiple special needs people in her family, including a brother who is 57, she said, who has the mind of a one-year-old. Navarro also talked about other members in her family who are special needs and seemed to insinuate that those members of her family perhaps should have been aborted and use them as an example of why this country needs abortion. So imagine being those siblings of Anna Navarro listening to her on CNN today. A little uncomfortable, I would say. And then Navarro went on and explained how she's a Catholic that's pro-abortion and how exactly that works. So why can I be Catholic and still think this is a wrong decision? Because I'm American. I'm Catholic inside the church. I'm Catholic when it comes to me. But there's a lot of Americans who are not Catholic and are not Christian and are not Baptist. And you have no right to tell them what they should do with their body. Yeah, Hannah Navarro, keep pretending like there's any logic to anything you say. As the news was unraveled, a lot of companies said they're going to cover the travel expenses for employees who have to travel to get abortions. More than 20 big companies came out. Ten of those companies, we're going to post them up right here, Lyft, Starbucks. And interestingly, interestingly enough, Tesla over there on the right, Elon Musk. Oh, okay. So you see, he's more moderate than people think. 
That list will only grow, as you know. All right, I'm Rob Schmidt. Very interesting day, very big news day. We're going to stay here tonight, and we're going to follow it in case anything big happens. You can count on Newsmax for your breaking news coverage. Eric Bowling is next. Good night.